Janet O'Connor, my next guest, once nun, now housewife. How are you, Ruby? I'm all right. Jennifer and I were talking about childbirth, and you had six children, obviously not in the convent. Well, that's right, Ruby. <laughs> no. Obviously. So, um, what's your opinion on childbirth here? Well, Ruby, when first I became pregnant at 30 years of age, mm -hmm. I just don't know how it happened. But you don't know how you got pregnant? <laughs> don't know how I got pregnant. Why, why? Kevin? Because I, I hadn't a clue about the facts of life. I, and that's true. Why, because you came out of a convent? Because I was reared by a mother who never mentioned the word sex, who told me that one day my father was out looking at the cabbages, and he heard a little squeak, and he found a lovely little baby inside and they had a cabbage. <laughs> and I was raised to believe that. I didn't get on with my mother at home, and then I joined the nuns. And to get some answers. To get some, some, answers. some answers. But I got no answers there, because I never heard anything about sex in there either. Right. So I came out. And then you met a man and you got married? I met a man. I got married. Why? Well, I loved him, I thought. I mean, I was fond of him. He was a nice, quiet, kind of a little, cuddly little fellow, and <laughs> I became fond of him. And uh, we went on our honeymoon. Did you know what you were doing? I knew I had to go to bed. I knew he had to go into the same bed. I knew <laughs> you knew that much? I knew that much. Well, I, knew we had to, I knew we had to make love. But you didn't know how to do it? Well, I knew, I thought, I knew we had to kiss and cuddle. Right. But uh, that was it. I was even nervous. Lower halves didn't come into it? No. <laughs> Did he know anything? I d well, I think he knew something, but a little bit more than I did. <laughs> he was a man that never went with a woman before in his life either. And he was a very naive, innocent poor So you, what'd you do? So he told, he stood by the window with his hands in his pockets, <laughs> and he was back to me while I got undressed. <laughs> and I went into bed, and he went into the bathroom, and he brought his pyjamas in with him, and he came out with his pyjamas on him, and he came into bed beside me. And I was petrified. Well, what went where? How did you figure it out? Couldn't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, eventually he figured out what he had. <laughs> he showed me what he had. Yeah. And he tried to. And I know you. But when I saw it, I got such a fright I started to cry. Oh no! I know. It's terrifying. It's terrible. Terrible. Yes, I know. I called the police the first time. I know. I said, I want to go home, I want to go home. And he went to the wardrobe and cut my clothes and he said, I won't use the language, go home. And then after a while he settled down. And we were actually three days and three nights trying to figure trying it out. Trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> and it was such an intense operation that it reminded me of drilling for oil or something. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew what sex was like. Really? Never knew what sex was like. It was just a duty that I performed for the man I was married to with a view to creating babies. Maybe you have some questions for Zsa Zsa. Oh, I may have. Just give me a chance now and I'll think of something. Right. Oh, Zsa Zsa, this so is nice Kathleen. Hello, Zsa Zsa. How Hi, are Jean. you? Hi, Jsa. You have been a nun or you're still a nun? You're a couple of convent girls, so I imagine you have a lot we in common. We have a lot in common. <laughs> so do you have any questions? I do, Zsa Zsa. I don't like sex. Well, I don't understand you, frankly. How can you not like sex? Well, I don't know, but I don't. So I just want to know. Maybe you have the wrong husband, you see. How can I avoid having sex with my husband? Why would you want to avoid I having sex? I don't like it. But what else do you need a man for? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it for the end of the show now.